This is Fortaleza, the capital of the state of Sierra in Brazil. Fortaleza has a population of 3 million and generates over 3,300 tons of garbage every day. That was until Professor Albert Brazil Grudvel came along and changed all that. We had three different points to take into consideration. The huge amount of waste that was harming the environment, the raw material needs of local companies, and the large number of poor people struggling to pay their energy bill. These three points were crucial for the creation of this project. Using information he gathered, Professor Grudvel came up with a project where people could exchange garbage for energy. Brazil's National Agency of Electrical Energy approved the project, and Coelce, which is part of the Endesa Brazil group and the largest energy company in the state of Sierra, launched the first recycling collection centre in 2006. The project was called Ecoelce and was an immediate success. The basic principle is that energy consumers of Coelce can bring in materials for recycling and the value is set off against their monthly energy bill. A large number of consumers, as many as a third in some communities, bring in so much for recycling, their monthly energy bill is zero. Before the energy bills were very high, then they kept coming down, and in two months the bills were zero. I thought it was very good. But this month the bill was for 17 reais, but I haven't been bringing any items to recycle. The waste that we used to dump on the street, which was very harmful, is now very important for us. Today, more than 113 tons of materials are collected each month. The beauty of Eco Elce lies in its simplicity. When consumers sign up for the Eco Elce program, they receive a card with a chip that stores all their information. All consumers have to do is bring their recyclable material, already sorted, to various recycling points in the town, where it is weighed and the value added to the card. Each item, be it paper, plastics or metal, has a specific value per kilogram. And at the end of the month, the stored value in the card is set off against the customer's energy bill. If they recycle more than the value of their energy bill, the excess is carried forward to the next month. Everyone needs to live, needs energy. And not anyone has a condition to pay for the bills. And that's an answer that the company can give to people. Guys, if you, you need energy, I do not want to, to take you out. And the, the way I can do that is if you need to, how, a way to pay me, pay coils for their energy bills, go recycling. You join environmental with money. And that's, that's the kind of scenario that we like very much. We are very optimistic about the project. At present, there are 30 recycling points. Coelce aims to double that number to 60 before the end of the year. Ecoelce is not just confined to the poor. The rich participate as well. For those who are better off, the motivation may not be monetary, but the knowledge that they are helping to keep their city clean and giving to charity. We give them the option to donate their garbage, their, the value that they come to any charity, charity institution that we have some partnership. We have today five or seven charity institutions that they can donate their, their value. They want to use for their bill, okay, if not, if they want that's my, my, my specific case. I usually do this kind of operation with the coils and always donate to different uh, institutions. The most visited recycling point is the one that is located off the busiest street in Fortaleza. This center gets material from consumers of every social class. I think that this project from Coelce is excellent because it takes the rubbish off the streets so that it's superb for the environment and gives benefits to everybody. It's more a conscience matter than a matter of money. Public awareness on recycling issues has increased as a result of Ecoelce. Apart from addressing the immediate issues of poverty and garbage, 
Echo LC has also created plenty of employment opportunities in the recycling industry. When the Echo LC program started two years ago, we had 2,500 people directly employed in the recycling industries. There was a growth in the number of those industries, and currently we have a total of 3,300 jobs in the industry, mainly in the plastic sector. Coelce is part of the Endesa Brazil Group, the country's fourth largest energy company with over 5 million customers. Plans are already underway to expand on the success of Ecoelce elsewhere in Brazil. Ecoelce has been very successful in Fortaleza. We have already collected 1,600 tons of recycled material. Over 100,000 families have benefited in 2008. So we want to replicate the success in Rio de Janeiro in our company, Ampla. So the program Eco Ampla has already been started. In 2007, Coelce gave away 200,000 reais worth of electricity through their recycling program. The annual revenue of the company during the same year was almost 2.2 billion. For Coelce, the project is not a means of earning extra revenue, but a way to give back to those consumers who need a helping hand and make the community a better place for everyone. It's been a wonderful experience because this is the fifth month that I have not paid anything for my energy. My bill was zero. I want this project to continue because I'll always give my recycled materials so I can get these discounts on my energy bill.